All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick's Earth and Power. So in this video, we're going to be talking about a bodybuilder by the name of Steve McCallick. Now, Steve McCallick was a bodybuilder who primarily competed in the 1970s. And is most famous for two things. Number one was winning the 1972 Mr. America competition. And number two, he was widely considered to be a pioneer of anabolic use in that time period. So during that time, he was taking you know dosages and copious amounts of steroids that nobody else was taking. And he was combining steroids with recreational drugs and stacking steroids with other drugs that re like really no one else was doing at the time. So at the peak of his steroid usage, um, he was 265 pounds on stage at five foot ten. Now, when he started his competitive career, he was about 210 pounds on stage on average. Then he would gain about 55 pounds of muscle, um, primarily attributed to this heavy steroid use. So that was one of the things he was famous for, was he was just really doing things in the 70s that nobody else was doing with anabolic drugs. And this would really cause him a whole lot of problems down the line. There's a lot of speculation that he had a lot of uh, mental issues caused by combining the use of anabolics with the use of a wide variety of recreational drugs all throughout his life. And this would lead to problems, um, including baseball-sized liver tumors. He had heart failure, kidney disease, kidney transplant in 2011. Then, unfortunately, um, in 2012, he would actually commit suicide due to a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. So it's a very sad story about this guy. Um, but he was a very great bodybuilder in the 1970s, despite um, his drug use. He was very well known for his symmetry on stage. So let me go over a little bit of his competition history here. So in 1971, he won the Mr. Apollo competition, which was an AAU competition. He also won the Mr. USA that year. So in 1972, he won the AAU Mr. America, like I mentioned before. And in 1975, he won the NABA Mr. Universe uh, tall category. Um, so a lot of people, there's a common misconception out there that he beat Arnold Schwarzenegger at the 1975 Mr. Universe competition. Now, this is simply not the case. You guys have to keep in mind that in the mid-70s, there's about three different Mr. Universe competitions run by different federations. Um, so the NABA Mr. Universe competition was just one of those different ones. And in fact, Arnold Schwarzenegger was not competing at that specific Mr. Universe competition. So there is a rumor out there that Steve McCallick was one of the few men to beat Arnold in a competition. That's simply not true. It's been debunked. Arnold was not at that Mr. Universe competition. So he would go on to compete in some IFBB shows in the early 80s, and he would not do very well. I believe his best placing was the Miami Grand Prix, where he would place fourth. Then he would go on to place outside of the top 10 at most of his IFBB endeavors, um, even not placing at some shows. So very unfortunate towards the end of his career. He didn't really place that well in the IFBB. But like I said, he was kind of known for having some mental issues later in life. Um, some people said he heard voices. He kind of lived like a maniac and used a bunch of steroids and recreational drugs all throughout his life. Even after his competitive career, he was still kind of into it. Um, so that's really the sad story of Steve McCallick. He ended up committing suicide just really due to you know all the health issues that he had later in life. He wanted to go on his own terms. He probably realized, you know, he probably saw the writing on the wall. He had all these health problems, the kidney problems, the heart problems, the liver problems. Um, he probably knew that his time was coming and he just wanted to go out on his own terms. So that is the story of Steve McCallick, 1972 Mr. America, Mr. America winner. Please give the video a thumbs up if you learned something. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.